Assalamu alaikum to all the panels. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Nazmi Faiz bin Matsairi with matrix number B0518200050. I am assigned under Prof. IR Dr. Muhammad Ashadi Azam bin Muhammad Abi throughout my final year project. I am going to present my topic which is RGO MOS2 Nano Hybrid as back contact layer for the application of inverted planar perovskite solar cells. Let me start my presentation by giving a brief introduction to solar cells. Solar cells are devices that convert visible light into electricity via photovoltaic effect. Until now, there are three generations of solar cells and perovskite is one of the third generation along with desensitized and organic solar cells. Among the third generations, perovskite are creating a lot of buzz to due to their dramatic PCE development from 3.8% in 2009 to an initial steady state of 29.5% in 2020. Perovskite materials are generally described as compound with a cubic structure ABX3 where A and B are cation and X is an anion. The role of perovskite material is to excite electrons after absorbing certain amount of energy from sunlight. Generally, the device architecture of perovskite solar cells can be separated into two types which are direct planar and inverted planar. Between these two architecture, inverted planar was promising due to low temperature procedures that are ideal for large scale manufacturing flexibility and wearability. Despite the exciting performance, perovskite solar cells encounter stability problems that degrade faster, hence restricting bulk production to meet the industrial need. Based on research, one of the factors affecting the stability is the poor back interface between perovskite and top electrode. Currently, the state-of-art top electrode of perovskite solar cells are usually noble metals such as gold, silver, or aluminium. However, due to the synergistic effect of perovskite decomposition and metal migration, both AU and AG can react with halide ion in the perovskite, leading to the formation of AGL and AUL. Other than that, the high production cost because they are normally fabricated by using rigorous processing of high vacuum thermal evaporation in a vacuum chamber is also one of its limitations. As an alternative, carbon material can be used to substitute the use of noble metal as it permits a comparable energy level and good electrical conductivity. In this research, reduced graphene oxide is proposed to be combined with transition metal dichalcogonized molybdenum disulfide to, to form nano to form nanohybrid composites that act as an alternative solution processable top electrodes in inverted planar perovskite solar cells. The objective of this research are first to fabricate RGO MOS2 nanohybrid composite via solution processable method. Second, to examine the potential of RGO MOS2 nanohybrid composite as electrodes in inverted planar perovskite solar cells. For the scope of this research, we will use a solution processable method which is ultrasonic exfoliation to produce RGO MOS2 with six different weak ratio to achieve the first objective. Then, we will analyze the energy level and also the properties of the composite via X-ray diffraction, UVV spectroscopy, and cyclic voltammetry. To achieve the second objective, the inverted planar perovskite solar cells will be fabricated by integrating RGO MOS2 nanohybrid composite as the top electrodes. The conductivity and also the sheet resistance of the RGO MOS2 nanohybrid composite will be examined via four point probe and the performance of the device will be examined via IV tester. Moving on to the literature review section, graphene exists as a two dimensional sheet of single atom thickness which synthesis from the three dimensional graphite. As high quality graphene is very difficult to produce in large scale, reduced graphene oxide offers a very good alternative as it poses a strong mechanical strength, high electrical and thermal conductivity, large surface area, less hydrophilic and high optical transmittance. This material can be both P-type or N-type of material and it have an energy level of 4.9 EV near to AU, making them a suitable candidate for top electrodes. Molybdenum disulfide is a 2D transition metal dichalcogonides whose layer are bound by a weak when the wall force which at, with atomic scale thickness molybdenum disulfide 
composed of three atoms and it has a high electrocatalytic activity and better electrical conductivity. This material are uh, anti of material which makes it a good electron charge carrier. It also has energy level of 4.7 EV near to AU making it a suitable candidate for top electrons. Based on previous study, I have summarized some of the journals that are related to this research. From the result, we can see that the use of carbon-based materials are proven effective in improving the performance of the solar cells as they manage to obtain a good power conversion efficiency comparable to metal electrodes. Based on the achievement, we can see that the open circuit voltage is increasing while the sheet resistance is reducing. This literature provides a good support to further my research objective. Based on previous report also, RGO MOS2 composite is not yet integrated as the top electrode in the perovskite solar cells. Hence, this study could be novel in this niche. Moving on to the methodology section, we will synthesize the RGO by using top-down method from graphite powder by using ascorbic acid as reducing agent. Next, we will synthesize the RGO MOS2 by using simple ultrasonic exfoliation which will utilize NMP as a solvent. In this process, we will prepare six different samples and after that, the material characterization was analyzed by using XRD for crystallographic structure analysis, UVBs to examine the absorption of properties, and CV to determine the energy level of the sample material. Next steps, the preparation of as prepared top electrode will be done by using Dr. Blading technique. In this process, we will also prepare six samples of the electrodes which will then further undergo an electrochemical analysis to decide which of the best composition of electrode based on the resistivity and conductivity of the electrodes. Finally, discussion and conclusion will be made based on the result obtained. For the synthesis of RGO by using the chemical exfoliation method, the process starts with the reduction of graphene oxide from graphite. This can be done by adding 1 gram of graphite flakes into 50 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid and stirred in an ice water bath. After that, 3 gram of potassium permanganate is added gradually while maintaining the temperature below 10 degrees Celsius. The mixture is then stirred at room temperature for 25 minutes followed by 5 minutes sonication in an ultrasonic bath. After repeating the stirring and sonication process for 12 times, the reaction is then quenched by editing 200 ml distilled water followed with another 2 hour ultrasonic treatment. After altering the pH value around 6 by adding 1 mole of sodium hydroxide solution, thus the suspension is further sonicated for another 1 hour. Moving on to the next step, 10 gram of ascorbic acid powder will be added and, it, and let it dissolve in 100 ml of distilled water. Then, the ascorbic acid concentration is slowly added to the graphite oxide suspension at room temperature. The reduction was performed at 95 degrees Celsius for 1 hour. The resultant break precipitates are filtered by cellulose paper and further washed with 1 mole hydrochloric acid solution and distilled water to neutral the pH value. Finally, the filtrate is dry in oven at 60 degrees for overnight to obtain the RGO. Next, the synthesis step of RGO MOS2 via simple ultrasonic exfoliation. This method starts with 100 mg MOS2 added into 100 ml of NMP. After that, the mixture is stirred for 15 minutes before being stored overnight. Moving on to the next step, the suspension is sonicated for 30 minutes at room temperature. In another beaker, under vigorous stirring, 20 ml of RGO suspension is added dropwise into NMP. Both solutions are combined and then sonicated for another 10 minutes. The RGO MOS2 composite is then separated from NMP by centrifugation at 10,000 RPM for 5 minutes and rinse with deionized water and ethanol for several times. Lastly, the RGO MOS2 composite sample is dry in a vacuum oven at 100 degrees Celsius for 12 hours. 
Suggested samples for our experiment were shown in Table 1 and Table 2. At the end of this research, the expected outcome is first, the synthesis of RGOMS2 was successfully executed via solution processable method confirmed by obtaining the same result of XRD analysis as shown in Figure 1. Next, the UVB's spectra analysis was expected to obtain the same result with Figure 2, which saying that the presence of RGO MOS2 provides a good absorbance performance and greater responsivity. In terms of device stability, Figure 3 shows the result of stability tests from previous study. Perovskite solar cell based on the connecting layer graphite electrodes can retain 90.5% of its initial efficiency, indicating relatively better stability than AU electrodes perovskite solar cells, which is 82.3%. This high stability of perovskite solar cells are due to the ion diffusion resistant and hydrophobic hydrophobic property of the carbon films. Thus, in this research, incorporating RGO MOS2 electrode will highly expected to improve the device stability as well. Work planning for next semester is first, the synthesis of RGO that will be covered in the first month, which is September, followed by the synthesis of RGO MOS2 for one month in October. Starting October also, material characterization by using XRB, UVBs and CB will also be done for two months until November. In December, the fabrication of the X-prepared electrodes will be conducted. At the same time, sample testing and evaluation will be conducted for two months starting December to January. Lastly, for the report writing, it will be done for five months starting from September to January. To sum up my presentation, Utilizing the RGO MOS2 and the hybrid composite in electro application along with the preparation method via solution processable technique is highly expected to open up a new perspective of seeking a breakthrough to decrease the solar cells production costs and brought hope for future commercial development of perovskite solar cells. With that, I end my presentations and thank you very much.